Hi, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you. I have here in this bag some ice creams. So I'm going to just jump right into it. Two, three, four, five. Five ice creams. The first ice cream that we're gonna try is this one. And it is Dookie Bar. Dookie Bar, and it has this frog. Um, it might be like Coke like Coke flavored and then like bubble gum flavored. We'll see. This one I have the least um, hopes for. It's a small one and it smells very artificial. So let's see how it tastes. It is bubble gum, which I'm not a big fan of, but it's got a really nice texture to it. Like it's um, like it's a little soft without being like super ice, icy. Hmm. It's not that bad. It does have a little bit of a Coke flavor to it. So I think maybe that's what it is, like bubble gum Coke. Yeah, that's what this bottom part is, is uh, Coke flavored. It's kind of, it's kind of weird, like a flat Coke that somebody put melted chocolate in. It's kind of weird. Mm. I should have got a bowl. I'll be back. Now, it was suggested to try the fish ice cream sandwich, but I've actually had the fish ice cream sandwich before, but I've never had this one. I don't really know what the difference is. So normally it's like tan colored fish, tan colored fish, and it has ice cream and red bean paste, like a red bean paste syrup. But this one's pink. It's got like a warning down here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe it's spicy. Bulldog. So it's, it's gonna be spicy, which will be interesting. Let's see. So this is the fish. It doesn't smell spicy. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't taste anything spicy yet. I do taste a little, like a little kick, a little spice kick. It's pretty spicy actually, but it's like an aftertaste, like an aftertaste of spice. Because you also have the ice cream, so it's like eating something spicy and then drinking milk right after. Like you can still kind of taste it, but not as much. So I've eaten about half of it. It's kind of weird. Like, imagine having a bowl of ice cream and then on top of it, you pour like a spicy barbecue sauce. Like the ice cream will still taste good, but it'll be really weird. And that's, that's kind of what's going on there. This is an Oreo bar, um, not super foreign, but Oreo does taste a little bit different here in Korea. Do you think Oreo tastes different here in Korea? I think it does. Oh yeah, this is nice. Oh, that's weird. It's really weird. So the coating, the coating here is like an Oreo cookie. So like the, the cookie part of an Oreo, but it's like really soggy. I don't, like it just, it gives. So it's like, it's like a wet Oreo cookie. The ice cream's good, but it's, it's super, super soggy. No crunch whatsoever. What a weird group of ice cream I've got. Keep going back to it because it does taste 
almost exactly like an Oreo. Just an Oreo somebody dunked in something. So these two that remain, I think are gonna be more like candy type. This one is, um, I don't know, the brand is called Mini Melts and it kind of looks like Dippin' Dots. Oh, <laughs> this is actually surprisingly large. So I thought they were gonna be like Dippin' Dots because Mini Melts but they're actually about this big. So this one's kiwi. And as soon as you put it in your mouth, it melts. Uh, this one got smushed. There's like goo inside. So it's like gel inside of it. So the outside's just a little bit like sherbet. And then the inside is like, um, like candy gel. The kiwi one was pretty good. Very sweet though. Like cloyingly sweet. Uh, the peach one is like five times as sweet. Yeah, this hasn't been a good group of ice cream. So this is um, Yakult, which is a uh, like a yogurt drink here. And they come in these little things. And it was like on it was on the movie to all the boys I love. Like it's a popular thing, uh, Yakult. This is gonna be like a slushy version of that. Oh, I'm gonna need to clean that up. It's so cold. Cheers. Creamsicle, dreamsicle. Um, like it's an ice cream and it's like vanilla ice cream, and it has like a orange kind of soda coating around it. Creamsicle or dreamsicle, it's one of those. Might be both. And that's what this tastes like. Uh, this one with the frog, I would never buy again. So <laughs> I think that's gonna be true for a lot of these. If you like these flavors, C. If you don't like these flavors like me, F. So F rating. The fish wrapping, I thought was going to be the spicy part, but it tasted pretty good and the ice cream was good. It had like bulldog sauce. So it really detracted from the overall taste. So this one F, the, the cookie shell tasted like a soggy cookie. So maybe a C, like C something. The kiwi one was pretty good, but like overall it was just super sweet, super sugary, D. Probably too frozen to really enjoy, really properly enjoy, but the flavor of it was like a dreamsicle, creamsicle flavor. B, maybe a C plus. Um, I would get it again and let it thaw out. None of these were particularly good. And I had high hopes, like when I saw them in the thing, I was like, oh, I think these will be good, but they were not.